Hey, welcome back to part two. So, continue on where we last left off. Opening up our squeecher from this little box here. <laughs> What's cool is that I didn't know it's in the first video of the uh, Steam Shift one. The bad of the box actually kind of shows a picture of the squeecher once it's transformed. Sort of. <clears throat> and also, if you didn't know, we also get this little holographic card that kind of shows them. Um, it's a squeecher, and then let's see if we could get to more of here. There, it's a car, and then when it goes into vehicle mode. And another thing that's cool, not only do they insert this little holographic, like how it morphs, and what it looks like when it morphs type of hologram card. On the back of each card, so each card, you know, obviously shows the picture for each squeecher. But then on the back, they also had their names put down there. So, if I show off uh, Steam Chef over here, and Night Weave over here, when we flip the round, it even tells you the names. Steam Chef, Night Weaver, which I find to be pretty awesome and cool. <coughs> Here's our squeaker disc, which we'll tell you in a second. And let's get our squeechers out. Which is kind of funny, because in the anime, well, in the first one, they called them Screechers. They called these little cars Screechers when it had, you know, the little, like, ammo still driving them. So they were called Screechers. <coughs> but, in the new version, which has, like, the actual people that's playing with the Screechers, which I like uh, way better, they called them uh, Morph Cars. And we can kind of see what it looks like, because when you get them on the patches, they kind of automatically transform. So, <coughs> let's kind of go here, since it's automatically transformed, and show you how to put that. So you take this like little springboard mousetrap type of thing. You push it forward until it locks in place. Then you just take your car, and just kind of smash it together until it locks in. So this is what Nightweaver looks like. Pretty cool, pretty nice. Although there is paint ass missing, if you look at the actual AMA, you see like back here is supposed to be black and look like this piece is torn off and missing. That you know it's asymmetrical. <coughs> mm, excuse me. And it's not in the actual toy. Here are our Screecher discs. Okay. Now, if we look at the Screecher discs, this one, over here, see how I kind of got this little dot down right there that my thumb is on? That little dot looks like it's a awakening Screecher disc. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, sorry about that. Still trying to get over a cold over here. So I'm not quite 100% feeling better. Still set trying to get over a cold. But hey, I gotta do the videos. Because stuff is piling up and stuff. Anyway. So yeah. Like I was mentioning before. <coughs> this one looks like a awakening squeaker disc. I guess there's different types of squeecher discs. There's like this green one, which might be an earth disc. The blue one, which you think would be a water disc, but pairing it's a wind disc. Wet disc obviously means fire, and then you know, so forth and so on, like that type of stuff. <coughs> yeah, anyway. So, what makes the awakening squeecher disc different than, you know, let's say this. Green one. Awakening Squeecher Disc has special abilities and special moves. Like, <coughs> if we take the blue one, that's wind, and we give it to Jayhawk, 
Jayhawk can use the wind to use his awakening special move, which is a Vortex Tornado that he could use. Um, another one, like Steam Shift, when it grabs its awakening switch, does, it can you know, morph and transform to you know, its Scorpion mode. But its awakening switch just will allow Night Weaver here to morph into its spider form. It, which I think is supposed to be a transfer, but oh well. It's spider form without actually having Night Weaver grab a Screecher Disc. So, Screecher Disc has special abilities. On the bottom of each Screecher Disc, the bats look the same, kind of like a little spider web design. It's only the toss that looks different. There's different colors. Also, if we notice on the back here, these little pieces of blue and green are actually rubber. They are rubber little things, <coughs> which is pretty cool. I mean, if you have hair, they don't really do anything, you know. Let's put the camera down and focus it. Yeah, see? And then by having like this, they kind of stand up. How do they roll? Oh, they roll pretty good. Uh, they roll a lot better than, let's say, Transformers, but something probably as equal as a Hot Wheels car. So how do they transform? Actually, that one didn't really want to transform. Oh, that counts as a mess. There we go. And then it becomes Night Weaver. Which is a spire. Which, actually, by looking at this, we can always see. No, oh, no, wait. My mistake. I thought I had wet eyes. That's actually the little spring back there. <coughs> now, when it transforms into its creature mode, you cannot roll it long because the little springboard. Honestly, as you can tell, kind of sits back there. Now, if you push it forward, you could get it to wall again, but it kind of scratches. Yeah, like that. So let's kind of get this one put back together again. Because this one's a little bit hard to get back together again. So level ones. Creature cores, they're smaller than level twos and stuff, and the catch weight to catch the squeezer disc to morph is a much lower chance of them actually flipping and morphing. Level twos, they have a way better success way of catching the disc to morph. That's not to say that level ones can't do it at all, but level twos just are way better at you know being able to morph than level ones. And let's just try going for the green disc here just to show you which let's go here. Yeah see so it doesn't matter what disc you have. Here we go and we take a look at this. <coughs> which all that is is just telling us you know about our car. <coughs> like what you get in there. Here they say a car and disc. When in reality we get a car and two discs, not one disc. Okay, morph into beast mode. Capture. 360 flip and morph. Beast mode. How to uh, morph into vehicle mode. Remove this, flip the springboard, bat, make sure it locks in place, then flip all the other parts in there. And then we have our checklist, which is actually incomplete, and they put it in a random order. So we have j Hart. I know it's a bit hard to see on camera because it's so shiny. There we go. So we have j Hart level 1, Webadactyl level 1, Steam Shift level 1, Waddle Cat level 2, Weavarker level 2, Lucky Wentz level 2, Gate Creeper level 2, Quat Shot level 2, Night Weaver level 1, Night Bite level 1, Spark Bud level 1, Spike Trap level 2, Smokey level 2, Parasaur level 2, 
V-Bone level 2, and Night Vision level 2. And then we have the accessory sets down here, like, uh, <coughs> Squeezer Speed Loader, Rapid Fire, Disc Blaster. And then we have some other characters over here that we don't know because they're kind of blacked out and shadowed. And here are some of the cards that we do not see. We do not see, uh, Quash Shot. Uh, this version of Gold Bud over here. Spike Trap, Smokey, Pyrosaur, V Bone, and Night Vision. Those cards we have not seen yet in stores. Now I know you could probably get them on Amazon, but uh, and some of the other cards, I would definitely go and pick them up at uh, SirToys.com because they have some cards like a shark, dolphins, and eagles and stuff, the, the Squisher Wild, they don't even have those cards, so Battle, or maybe it's, no, it's Burst, Burst Fly Car, so Sir Toys call their version of Squishers Burst Fly Car, so in Sir Toys Burst Fly Car, I'll get, you know, like, maybe the Shark, the Dolphin, the ones that you can never ever get in Screechers Wild. So, yeah. So let me see if I can get all this stuff back on camera here. And. So yeah, this is everything that you get in Screechers Wild. Your Screecher or Morph card, two Morph energy disc and I think one is a, <coughs> a special ability or you know whatever I called it before that type of disc awaken disc 